Hey guys, um, hopefully it'll work this time. Uh, it has worked in the past. I just don't know why it's not working now. Um, this is actually the entrance to a gourd. I don't know why I actually saved it or not. Saved it, but, nah. I tried uh, flint and steel with it. It actually worked. You know, every time until today. Because I'm trying to... You know how it is. Every time you actually try to film something, it just doesn't work like it should. So, okay. Anywho, without further delay. This should work. It's the really fluffy stuff, so. Should work. There we go. See there? No char necessary. And this would start fire real good. Yeah. Almost possible. <laughs> so yeah, that entire area got charred in like no time. So I initially tried some some stuff like this. Oh, this has a little bit of fuzzy stuff, so it should work. So let's try this again. May have been my technique initially. There we go. That'll work too. So, lesson is, if you know anybody, anybody that uh, works with cords, grows them, ask them to save the nerds for you. If you want a uh, waterproof container, and they work real well. See, it's glowing already. It's, but it's going to get used up real fast, so you will need a tender extender, like milkweed fluff or cattail, in order to actually make it fire go real uh, much longer. Oh crap. <laughs> to make the cold go a lot further. Yeah. This is actually what well, really should be my EDC fire kit. Give me a second. I'll get right back. To that. Okay, I'm back. I guess everything fell over, so I had to pick up and fix it. All right, here it is. It's a um, camera case that I picked up at Walmart. It was actually discontinued, so I got two of them for a different reason, of course, than why I was actually than using it for this. Sorry, excuse me. So, anyway, let's take a look inside. Okay, let's take a look inside. Uh, I mean, if you can find it, it's, uh, uh, it's made by Icon. I think that's what, what that means. Huh, that's funny. Oh, sorry. Just does it. For me, it doesn't, the, my old thing is not a mirror image. Anywho. Uh, of course, I got some shirt. Uh, this is uh, raw um, Burlington uh, native stuff. That uh, flint napping tips coming out, of course. The first striker you guys saw before. Uh, speaking of. You might actually get to see me do my own, some forging of my own. 
Uh, I'm going down to my sister-in-law's father's place on Saturday. He's going to teach me how to forge these things out myself. So, that'll be fun. Anyway, it's a, uh, pretty sure it's raw, although the way it looks like it maybe, might be actually be cooked. Um, Texas, that I got from uh, Elijah Cobbett. Drayed him some antler for it. Uh, this one is actually not working too well because it's been really worn down. Anyway, okay. And just an outdoor stand full of the inside guts of uh, gourd and some not very well charred punk wood. That's got to get refixed. So, I mean, I got an easy way of making flint and steel fire. I mean, that's my main method. I, I mean, I, that's what I prefer. So, that's it. Nothing special. I mean, like, again, it's easily slides onto the belt, so. And it's rather inconspicuous, so most people wouldn't even uh, bat an eye at me carrying this thing around. Which is actually a good thing. I'm not saying you should be sneaky about it, but at the very least, people won't bother you about it. Won't even question it. So, again, if there's an emergency, I got fire. I mean, there's always something around to use to make fire. Always. Always. Um, it's actually pretty easy to get a hold of uh, uh, kindling. What well, most people call tinder these days. So yeah, I mean, you can even take this into a government office, and they will say bat an eye. They'll bat an eye at a knife, but if you know what you're doing with a chart, uh, uh, an actual with actual stone, you can make a, um, you can have a nice little blade in here, and nobody will know. Again, I'm not advocating being sneaky like that. It's actually far from. You should be more more than, you should be completely open and honest with. Anyone who asks, hey, what's that? I mean, if he, a cop asks me, stop, stop me, stop me and ask, that so it's a emergency fire kit in case uh, power goes out or while I'm out and about, or you know, you never know what will happen. And if you ask me to demonstrate, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my little. EDC kit, and I, I also have my main kit that I would keep in my bag, so. That's uh, just a little something I do. Alright guys, I'll see you next time, as always, play hard, have fun, and I'll see you in the woods.